What's going on YouTube? Here I got my small affordable EDC kit and I'm going to go through each item and tell you why I picked them and why I like them. So first up is this Milwaukee knife. I believe they go for anywhere from $60 to $80. This is a smaller one. It's two and a half inch blade. It's stone washed on the side which I like. I love the money clip. I also like the fact that it has this back flip button. So I picked this knife because I have Milwaukee tools and they are pretty reliable and I think they have great products. So I was like, you know what, instead of spending $50 on a knife company I don't know, let's go with a trusted brand I know. So this is a hardline edition of their knives. They do have $20 knives. I haven't tried them yet, but I would like to, but I'm not going to be spending that extra money to try them out. <clears throat> you know, I've seen, so I got this for about $52. I had military discount as well as they were on sale at homedepot.com. So I picked this up. I think it it's pretty well made. Looks good. So that's why I went with this knife. Here I have a Leatherman 3P2. I picked this up at a pawn shop. The price was about $90 and I got 25% off on Sundays. And it was like new condition, which I've only had this for almost a week now. It has needle nose pliers. Uh, I forget what this is called, but pretty much wire cutters. And it feels like a quality product. One thing about like the Skeletool is it's $80 or so. This one's 130 brand new. But the Skeletool just feels like a cheaper multi-tool, which it is. But I, I love the feeling of this. The pliers feel good. Um, when you take out the knife here, it, you know, when you open it up, it has a, like a positive lock on it. No wiggle room. When you close it, which it has these little tabs here, it you know kind of shuts into place. So it just feels like a good overall quality product. I don't know if this one's made in America or not, but it does have a pocket clip. I put this in my fifth pocket or like the small coin pocket of your pants. And you know, one worry I had was if it was noticeable while it's in my pocket. Well, if I put it next to these two, which are in one pocket, and put it on the same side, I do notice it. But putting it in my smaller pocket of my pants, I don't notice it as much. So I'll just go ahead and show you the things that are in here. It has a Phillips, plus a bottle opener. It looks like a pry bar or a bigger flathead screwdriver. So that's it on one side. And I feel like all three of those are pretty good. This is the questionable side. But I wouldn't question these scissors. These scissors work well. They seem to, you know, have the spring tension in it or this little metal bar. And they seem to cut well. Zip ties, paper, uh, you know, elastic bands are things I've tried so far. As a file, which I think is useful in a smaller flathead. These are the ones I question here. This looks like another flathead. Another smaller flathead with a reamer on the side. It's like sharp but not sharpened. And a can opener. So maybe just this tool. You know, the can opener can be useful. So that's about it for this item here I actually really like this and when you know when you hand off your you know multi-tool for someone to use real quickly you know it feels nice sending them something that's a good quality product so my flashlight I've had for about three years this is my second or third one I gave one away uh, you know uh, and I think I lost one but why I like this one this is a streamlight micro stream USB it's rechargeable the battery life my use this battery lasts at least a month or two so it's very light use I use it sometimes but here's some of the features here's the highlight 
and then it can open up it can stay on and also it has this pocket clip which I use and there is a hat, cl uh, hat clip which is useful so the battery life on this thing is an hour and a half on high which I think is very well and the low light setting is about three hours I think it said and that's very good for the price you pay this is about thirty dollars I want to grab a quick drink of water because I'm thirsty right now all right next is the rogue wallet I've had this for about three years now I lost my first screw the other day which I was doing a uh, review on but I retightened all the screws and put a replacement screw in there it came with some and it seemed like two or three other of these screws were a little loose so keep that in mind here you can see indenting on the wallet from this being in my pocket I feel like the elastic has you know held up pretty good I thought it would only last about a year but it seems to be doing well it is you know having some tear right here and so it probably only has one year left in this band I keep about seven cards in here I would say that's about the max I want to do I feel like people that have 20 cards in their wallet should probably rethink it because it's pretty hard to dig around with seven cards I can imagine 20 cards even though I do see people doing that I wouldn't use this wallet for that feature and one complaint is it's pretty slim and slick it does fall out of my pants sometime and I bought this from Shields it's the, it was the last one in stock and it was uh, I got it at a discount it was like $65 next I have up is a Milwaukee Sharpie you know these are easy to pick up in the tool aisle, tool aisle of you know most tool stores and they're only about a dollar seventy five or so so I'd rather carry a sharpie than a pen here's a newer addition as well as this keychain tool it has a ratchet on it flathead pry bar it does have some measurements on the side of it um, I don't know if I like this as much because here is my old one I was using it's simple it's probably the size of a key I do notice this in my pocket <clears throat> but I, I like the feature of having different bits but now having that Leatherman multi-tool I don't see a need for this so we'll see if I keep on carrying this or not I do want to use it eventually I just need to wait for the right opportunity so, and this was about $14. I didn't want to spend $14 on this, but I did. And I think this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you like it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys later.